Good morning. For today's video, our topic is subtracting decimals and mixed decimals through ten thousands with or without regrouping. And for our word problem of the day, Mrs. Santos had 15 and 6 tenth meters of curtain materials. She cut 9 and 45 hundredths meters for the kitchen. How many meters of cloth were not used? Again. Mrs. Santos had 15 and 6 tenths meters of curtain materials. She cut 9 and 45 hundredths meters for the kitchen. How many meters of cloth were not used? First, let's read the given decimal numbers. How do we read this decimal? We read this as 15 and 6 tenths. Again, 15 and 6 tenths. Next, how do we read this decimal? Very good. 9 and 45 hundredths. Again, 9 and 45 hundredths. Let us solve the problem. What are the steps in subtracting decimals? So for our example number 1, we have 15 and 6 tenths minus 9 and 45 hundredths. Step number one, arrange the given decimals in column form and align the decimal point. Let's change this into column form. There you have it. Next, step number two. Insert zeros in empty decimal place values if necessary so that all the numbers have the same number of decimal places. In this case, we need to add zero to our minuend. Let's proceed. Step number three. Subtract the decimal numbers. 15 and 60 hundredths minus 9 and 45 hundredths. First, 0 minus 5. 0 minus 5. Cannot be. So we need to borrow one from 6. So 6 will now become 5 and 0 will become 10. 10 minus 5. The answer is 5. Then 5 minus 4 will give us 1. And write the decimal point. Do not forget to write the decimal point. Now, let's proceed. 5 minus 9 cannot be. So, we need to borrow 1 from 1. So, 1 will become now 0 and 5 will become now 15. So, 15 minus 9, the answer is 6. So, our final answer is 6 and 15 hundredths meters of cloth. Next, let us see, let us read the next given decimal numbers. 
first, we have this decimal. How do we read this decimal? It is read as 569,000. Again, 569,000. Another decimal. Let's read this decimal number. Very good. It is 14 hundredths. Again, how do we read this decimal? Correct. It is 14 hundredths. Let's proceed to example number two. 569 thousandths minus 14 hundredths. Step number one, arrange the given decimals in column form and align the decimal point. Let's change this into a column form. Very good. There you have it. Now, let's proceed to step number two. Insert zeros in empty decimal place values if necessary so that all the numbers have the same number of decimal places. In this case, we need to add zero to our subtrahend. Very good. Now, let's proceed to step number three. Subtract the decimal numbers. So, we have 569 thousands minus 140 thousands. First, 9 minus 0. The answer is 9. 6 minus 4. The answer is 2. 5 minus 1. The answer is 4. Then, write the decimal point and then 0 minus 0 will give us zero so the final answer is 429 thousands let's proceed with example number three but before that let us read first the decimal numbers how do we read this decimal number very good it is 81 and 503 ten thousands. Again, how do we read this decimal number? It is 81 and 503 ten thousands. Another. How do we read this decimal number? Very good. 46 and 736 thousands. Again, 46 and 736 thousands. Let us solve example number 3. 81 and 503 ten thousands minus 46 and 736 thousands. Step number 1. Arrange the given decimals in column form and align the decimal point. Let's change this into a column form. Very good. There you have it. We change this number into a column form and we align the decimal point. Step number two. Insert zeros in empty decimal place values if necessary so that all the numbers have the same number of decimal places. In this case, we need to add zero in our subtrahend. Very good. Now, let's proceed to step number three. Subtract the decimal numbers. Okay, so first, three minus zero. The answer is 3. 
next, 0 minus 6 cannot be. So we need to borrow 1 from 5. So 5 will now become 4 and 0 will become 10. 10 minus 6, the answer is 4. Next, 4 minus 3, the answer is 1. Let's proceed. 0 minus 7 cannot be. So we need to borrow 1 from 1. 1 will become 0 and 0 will become 10. 10 minus 7, the answer is 3. And then write the decimal point. Next, 0 minus 6 cannot be. So we need to borrow 1 from 8. And 8 will become 7. And 0 will now become 10. 10 minus 6. The answer is 4. And 7 minus 4. The answer is 3. So the final answer is 34 and 3,143 ten thousands. Always remember, how do we subtract decimals and mix decimals through ten thousands with or without regrouping? First, Arrange the given decimals in column form and align the decimal point. Second, insert zeros in empty decimal place values if necessary so that all the numbers have the same number of decimal places. And last, subtract the decimal numbers. For our matanong of the day, Mother has 1,000 pesos. She paid water bills that cost 210 pesos and 75 centavos. And electric bills cost 456 pesos and 90 centavos. How much change did she receive? Again, mother has 1,000 pesos. She paid water bills that cost 210 pesos and 75 centavos. And electric bills cost 456 pesos and 90 centavos. How much change did she receive? Thanks for watching. Do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye!